Congratulations on getting your new cable modem. Now for the fun part. Okay, well not really fun, but it's not hard and you've got this. Follow along and we'll walk through it together. First, make sure that you have the self-install kit. It should contain a modem, a modem power cord, two coax cables, a splitter device, an ethernet cable, and an installation guide. Double check in the guide to make sure that you have all the pieces you need before you start. We'll be up and running in no time, but make sure to follow all of the steps included in this tutorial to ensure your modem is set up correctly and providing you with the best service. Now, let's pick a location for your modem. This is important as the best and most central location will provide great service for you no matter where you are in your home. The location you choose should have an active cable jack. It can already be in use, it just needs to have a cable signal coming out of it. Do not plug in the unit until we have completed the next steps first. If the cable port on the wall is not currently being used, you can simply connect one end of the coax cable to the wall port and the other end to the back of the cable modem. You want to make sure that all coax connections are secure, but no tools are needed. If the jack is in use, well, no problem there either. We will use the splitter to get the job done. Simply disconnect the coax cable from the port in the wall and screw it to one of the out ports on the splitter. Then connect one end of one of the coax cables provided to the in port on the splitter and the other end to the port on the wall. Finally, connect the last coax cable to the other out port on the splitter and the other end of the modem. That's it. Double check your connections. You should have one coax cable connecting the splitter in port to the wall port and two other coax cables, one going into your modem and one going into your TV or cable box. Now we are ready to connect the modem to power. Go ahead and plug in the unit. The modem will auto update, which could take about 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure you give it enough time to update. You should see the online LED light on the front of the modem turn solid green. If you don't see the online LED go solid green after 30 minutes and it continues to flash, call our technical support line. The Wi-Fi LED light will continue to flash until the Wi-Fi is set up. You should now be ready to connect a device to the internet. If you'd like to have a wired connection with the ethernet cable, connect the provided cable into one of the available ethernet ports on the back of the modem and your device. If you'd prefer a Wi-Fi connection, please continue with the Wi-Fi setup instructions in our Wi-Fi connection video. Once you connect your device to the modem, go ahead and open a browser window to test your device. If you choose, you can run the Comporium Network Speed Test. This can be accessed at comporium.com forward slash comporium dash speed dash test.